There's lots of discussion about your back in the room. I'm going to give you three myths about hypnosis and the difference between stage hypnosis, which is what that is, and clinical hypnosis, which is what I do, all about helping people with stress and anxiety to overcome fears and phobias, quit smoking, lose weight, all sorts of different things. But there's big differences. Here you go then, two minutes, three myths about the differences between stage and clinical hypnosis. Lots of people saying, oh, is it fake? Are they actors? Are they stooges? Well, they're not actors. They're not stooges, but they are people who've been chosen very specifically. They've had up to three auditions. They're not just plucked out of the audience on the nights. They want to make sure this is a big production, that there's lots of people watching, of course, and that the people taking part are doing a really good job. So are they hypnotised or are they not? Keith Barry's brilliant, isn't he? He's really entertaining and he's obviously very capable of hypnotising people. He's also a mentalist and a magician. So remember, everything might not be quite as you see. Why wouldn't the people play along? Sometimes people accuse stage hypnotists of paying people. Well, these people can win money and have a little bit of fame. So of course they're going to play along. You can't remember anything that happens when you're hypnotised. Well, at the end of the show, we always see them say, oh, I, you know, I can't even remember what happened. And I've seen that countless times. And the reality is you do remember everything. When you're hypnotised, you're just in a state of calm and relaxation. And that depends how deeply you want to be allowing yourself to relax. You can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do. These people are playing along because they want to play along. And you do remember everything. But when you've had Keith Barry in front of you, in front of the audience, say, when you open your eyes, you won't be able to remember anything that happened. Are you going to say, well, yeah, I can remember, or are you going to kind of agree? Let's watch a quick clip. This is from The One Show. This is Keith Barry again doing something with Alex face on The One Show. Right I'll put a face down your hand. Hold your hand around. No, you haven't seen the time no, that much? No, okay, not. put your left hand on mine. Press down hard. Take a deep breath in and just sleep and relax down there. That's it. Just relaxing, floating, drifting and dreaming. So you can see what she's doing. She's got her eyes closed and her head's down. Now, why is she doing that? Well, why wouldn't she do that? Because that's what you always see people do on television. Is she hypnotised there? Well... It's a bit hard to say, isn't it? But I imagine that if I said to you on television, and just close your eyes and put your head down and sleep, sometimes you'll see stage hypnotists going like this and they actually pull people's heads. So I'm not saying stage hypnotists you know, can't hypnotise people, but I am kind of saying, do they need to, to get people to play along when people are used to it? So don't get me wrong, Keith Barry's brilliant. He's very entertaining, but he's a mentalist and a magician. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you know when um, a magician saws a lady in half? Not really sawn in half. Don't believe everything you see. You don't need to fight over the programme. Clinical hypnotherapists and hypnotherapists, stage hypnotists, have almost gone to war over this. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? As long as you're learning about the fact that maybe this is entertainment, then that's good enough for me. There's another video if you'd like to watch it, and you can subscribe to the channel, and you can read loads more. There's lots of links as well, all about how they chose the contestants. Thanks for watching.